everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back to a new video. Now in the video of today we shall talk about a white starliner once again. In the video of today we shall talk about the story of the SS Britannic. Now of course the vessel would be owned by the white star line. And she would be built by the shipbuilders we all know and love. The shipbuilders Haaland and Wolf in Belfast. Now the gross tonnage of this vessel would be 5004 gross registered tons with her length being 468 feet. She would have had a depth of 45 feet. Now the Britannic was the first White Star vessel to have two funnels. She mainly relied on steam, but like many steamships at the time, she also had auxiliary sails and was rigged as a four-masted barge. Her propulsion came from two compound reciprocating engines. The ship had a single screw and she could go a maximum speed of 16 knots. Britannic's hull was subdivided into eight watertight compartments by nine watertight bulkheads. She would have had a sister ship, the SS Germanic. Now the Britannic could house 220 saloon class passengers and 1500 passengers in steerage. The vessel would have had some amazing interiors as well. The dining saloon, ladies boudoir, state and smoking rooms, library and barber shop were positioned in the middle of the ship and were furnished in a luxurious manner. The steerage accommodation on Britannic and Germanic was higher quality compared to other ships at that time. It was well lit, ventilated and heated. A unique feature was the ventilation system, powered by a large steam fan which could distribute hot or cold air throughout the entire ship. The vessel would be launched on the 3rd of February 1874. The Britannic embarked on her maiden voyage on the 25th of June 1874, sailing from Liverpool to New York. On the 8th of March 1876, a fire broke out in one of her forward holds, while she was being repaired in Belfast. The fire was put out and the ship suffered only minor damage. After modifications to her propeller system, she became a strong contender for the Blue Ribbon. In November 1876, she claimed the westbound Blue Ribbon by maintaining a average speed of 15.44 knots. Just a month later, she also set the eastbound record, averaging 15.59 knots. This made her the sole white star ship to simultaneously hold both records. However, she lost the westbound record to her sister ship Germanic in April 1877 and the eastbound record to the Guion Lines Arizona in July 
1879. Her first four years in service passed without incidents. However, further in life, she would have had some incidents. On the 26th of October 1878, while traveling from London to Dundee, Forfarshire, she collided with the tug Willy, causing the tug to sink. Fortunately, the crew of the tug was saved. On the 31st of March 1881, the schooner Julia was involved in a collision with the Britannic near Belfast. As a result, the Julia sank, but fortunately the crew members were all rescued. The Britannic, remaining undamaged, proceeded with her voyage. On the 4th of July 1881, the Britannic encountered another incident. While en route to Liverpool, she ran aground in fog near Kilmore County, Wexford, Ireland. The ship remained stuck for several days until the passengers were safely transported to Wexford using lifeboats. Initially, it was believed that the ship had not suffered any damage. However, a leak was soon discovered in the engine room. A team of salvage experts from Liverpool was quickly sent to the scene to save the ship. They utilized pumps and divers to address the leak, patch it up, pump out the water and lighten the ship by unloading her cargo onto barges. Finally, on the 8th of July, Britannic was successfully refloated. On the 9th of July, the Britannic departed for Liverpool with the assistance of tugs. However, she quickly experienced another leak in her engine room, causing it to flood rapidly. In response, she was promptly grounded at Wexford Bay. After undergoing necessary repairs and pumping, the Britannic returned to Liverpool on the 14th of July for further maintenance. Thankfully, the damage was minor and easily fixed allowing her to resume service as planned on the 18th of July. Now, on the 19th of May 1887, the SS Britannic collided with another White Star liner, the SS Celtic. I've created a detailed video documenting the collision between these two ships with the title Into the Fog. You can find the link in the description down below. Later in life, in August 1891, the Britannic, who was 17 years old at the time, achieved her fastest ever crossing from New York to Queenstown. The voyage took her only 7 days, 6 hours and 52 minutes. Later on, the Britannic would play a role in a war. The Britannic completed her last transatlantic voyage for the White Star Line in August 1899. Afterwards, the Royal Navy requisitioned her and converted her into a troop ship designated as HMT Britannic to transport soldiers 
to the Second Boer War in South Africa. Upon reaching her destination, the Britannic participated in the fleet review at Sydney Harbour as a commemorative event. Unfortunately, during her return voyage, she ran aground in the Suez Canal and required assistance to be refloated. After the war ended in October 1902, the Britannic was returned to the White Star Line by the government. The company decided to send her back to her builders in Belfast for an assessment, hoping to refurbish and modernize her for future use. One suggestion was to equip the ship with newer triple expansion engines, similar to what had been done for her sister ship Germanic. Additionally, the plan involved renovating the ship's interiors. However, a report from the builders in 1903 determined that the cost of bringing the 29-year-old Britannic up to modern standards would not be worthwhile. As a result, the Britannic was sold for scrap. On August the 11th, 1903, she was towed from Belfast to Hamburg, Germany, where she was ultimately scrapped. And that is the end to a video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate the support. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would help out the channel a lot. And don't forget to click on the video suggested here in the outro, as I'm sure you will enjoy that one as well. Now, if you have any comments or thoughts on this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. As well, what ships you would like me to cover next. Now, with that out of the way, guys, I wish you all a good night or day, wherever you are, and we will see each other on the next video. Goodbye, my friends.